Greetings from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Friday, April 12, 2024. Here's an update on our 1964 17 foot Chris Craft Super Sport. She looks quite different than she did the last time. Rick has been working hard on replacing every one of the bottom planks because every one of them was destroyed. The bottom bow we were trying to keep but can't. But Rick has replaced it. And what I'll do is hand it over to Rick and he can talk to you about some of his approaches and what he's been doing. Take it away, Rick. Okay, first thing we had to do was eliminate the old frames. Um, so we remocked them up, and put them back in, secured them down. It's all temporary right now until we pull it apart, CPES, and use the uh, 5200 where we need to. And Joey was working on the keel. He had to patch the keel in in different places. And, and the keel is just sitting there right now. Or, yeah, yeah. Actually, everything is basically just sitting yeah, just, there. Yeah. Just temporary. You know, right. Back together. Back here is the bowl of your cocks. You got to put in the bowl. That was the start there after we got some of the frames in. And so once you CPS all these, we're going to actually paint them all with the yeah, bilge paint the before we get started, correct? Yeah, because it's easier to do it oh. than before. Um, and now I've been working on the uh, chime rails here, uh, which you can see the old ones there, they're pretty tough shape. Yeah, they were sh pretty, just totally shot. Yeah, pretty beat up, so we started back here. It's quite a process, actually. Yeah. Uh, you gotta do a lot of bending, a lot of plant work. Yeah, this quarter sawn oak kind of likes to stay straight, right? Yeah, yeah, and as you can see, this last part of it here, how much of a bend it does have in it, just that little bit right there. Yep. Yeah. That's what we have to do here, too. And yeah, it is quite time consuming. You gotta just keep working it and working it until you get it into place. And, and we still can't find a bad spot on the build stringers. No, no. That's good. Those, are, those are solid. Those, those are solid. solid because uh, I had a nice chat with Robert Henkel today. He's well into this engine. Uh, we, he is building an exact replica of the original engine, which was a Chris Craft 327F with dual four barrel carburetors. Uh, my guess is even with the weight we'll add with the 5200 bottom, this puppy is going to scoot across the top of the water. I, I would be surprised if we don't break right through 45 knots. Uh, Rick has rebuilt the, the bottom bow. It, you know, we could have left it there. Maybe it would have been all right, but given that we're completely rebuilding the structure of the bottom, uh, Rick and I tossed it around and decided that we've got to replace it as well. Then our next step would be sanding, and we're going to have to sand all these into place. And, sh and do a final shaping on them yeah, so they're final ready shaping, for the. Yeah, and then put our final fit together, put them together, and then paint it all up by our CPES at first, and then give her the paint. Yeah, we'll get the, she'll get the 2000E five coats and the uh, Pettit copper bronze hard racing bottom paint. Now be careful. Uh, I've noticed recently the Pettit uh, has sort of adjusted the names of its products a little bit. And quite frankly, it's confusing. So you have to be careful. Uh, there is Pettit Old Salem has now, the Old Salem has been tossed to the side of the road and it, there's something else that's gone in. Uh, but Pettit also, has in addition to that paint, which is a hard racing copper bronze, and it's not anti-foul. So it's for a boat like this one that's not just going to sit in the water and swell up and rot away uh, all summer. Uh,
but Pettit is now offering, and the, the name of the paint is almost identical. It's hard racing bronze, uh, copper bronze, but then on the next line is the word anti-foul. You don't want to put anti-foul on a boat that's going to be dry sail. The anti-foul just can't, can't deal with wetting and drying and wetting and drying. Uh, so we are going to finish the keel. Rick's going to finish the frames and the, the chine frame is his last major, right, Rick? Yeah. It's, that's the last one, right? Last major part of the bottom. And then we can begin applying our Snake Mountain Boatworks True 5200 bottom alternate two layers of plywood, endless sums of uh, 3M5200, lots of Mr. Smith's CPES, and uh, this bottom's going to be able to handle that 327F and not even know it's there when we're finished. So that's our update on our 1964 17-foot Chris Craft Super Sport. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.